Hi, I'm Erica, a longtime sensor user, celiac, and part of the NEMA Partners education team. Today I'm going to show you how to test your food that you've ordered from a restaurant and some tips to make sure that you're getting an accurate reading when you test your food. So let's talk about eating at a restaurant or ordering some takeout. You've done everything right, you've asked all the right questions, you've spoken to the manager, and you've made sure that your order is going to be prepared gluten-free. Now your food comes and you're going to get, put it into your sensor and make sure you get that smile reading to know that your food is going to be safe for you to eat. So today to show you how to do that, I've gone ahead and ordered some food from a local restaurant here. Now this is a restaurant that's not 100% gluten-free, but they do have an extensive gluten-free menu and very good protocols in place to prevent cross-contamination and prepare your food as safely as possible. I know this because I've ordered from here several times and I've also spoken to the manager in depth about what their protocols are. So let's go ahead and test our food and see if this is gonna be safe. Now, you have a couple options when you start to test your restaurant food. You can see here that my food came in a tray that has three separate areas. Since it's separated or if it comes on separate plates, you do have the option to test each area with an individual capsule to see if each individual section of your food is safe. Now, for me personally, I am unfortunately so sensitive to gluten that if even one piece of gluten, one part of my food here has gluten, I wouldn't eat the rest of it. So today I'm going to use one capsule and test it all at once. So let's dive into how we're going to test it. Now you can see I ordered some salmon, some potatoes and broccoli, and the salmon has some sauce on it. So I'm going to use a knife and I've got my capsule open here and I'm going to try to test as much as possible. Now, you definitely want to focus on areas that have maybe the grill marks, the cook marks, because that's going to be what most likely has gluten. And you want to make sure you get some of the sauce in there. I'm going to take some of the areas of the potatoes that have some of the herbs here to make sure I get as accurate a reading as possible. And again, you want to really kind of get that outside area that's touched and touch the pan. And then of course, get a little bit of my broccoli here. And that's it. We've got our pea sized sample in here. Now, before I close my capsule, I'm going to use the cap of my capsule to go around and just touch areas of the food as much as possible so I can get more of a sample from areas that I may not have gotten when I took my sample with the knife. Now that's it. I feel pretty confident. I've touched most of the areas of my food. I'm going to seal up that capsule and put it into my sensor and get that testing. So hopefully we're going to get smiles, but we're going to know here in just a couple minutes if this is safe or not. Now, a few other things that we can talk about while the tester is testing. Now, you have a couple options when ordering your food as well. With this order, I got the food on, or the sauce on my food, but you can get the sauce on the side. Now, you know, dressings and sauces tend to be a place where gluten can definitely hide, but do remember that the sensor does have limitations. It can test foods that are fermented or have vinegar. So if you have a sauce that you know has that ingredient in it, you may wanna just skip it entirely to make sure that your food is safe. And if it doesn't have that, and you wanna get your sauce on the side, you can test that separately. So that way, if my food is safe, I know that my sauce may May not be safe but I can still enjoy my food and another place where you really want to be careful with gluten and potentially have them plate it separately for you or put it in a separate to-go box is fried food now I only eat things out of a dedicated gluten-free fryer but even those can be a little iffy you never know what's happened in there especially since they don't change the oils out a lot so I always get those on the side because that is most likely of a place that if it's gonna have gluten it's probably gonna be there so Always order that on the side. You can test that alone with a separate capsule. And again, that way my main food might be safe, but then I might have to skip the fried food, but at least I get to eat something. So I'm gonna let the tester test. We're gonna find out what the verdict is on this, if it's gonna be smiles or if I'm gonna be whipping up my own lunch this weekend. So stand by. And good news, my sensor says we are all smiles, so I feel confident that I took a good enough sample covering all the different parts of the food, including the sauce, to know that this meal is gonna be safe for me, which is awesome because now I don't have to make my own lunch after I bought some lunch. So thank you so much, Nima Partner Sensor, for helping me stay safe, not get gluten on this fabulous day. And if you have any more questions, please make sure to check out nemapartners.com for more information and tips on how to use your sensor and how to stay gluten-free.